Hey everybody, this question is about finding the z-score associated with one of the data value. And I pulled up this information from guessbuddy.com. Top 10 lowest guest prices of a gallon and best guest stations in Los Angeles were uh, recorded per one day in September 2020 are listed in the side table. For this given data, mean is $2.66 and standard deviation is $0.09. We found this uh, in detail how to find the standard deviation and interpret it in our last video. And as you see on my screen, uh, I have the average of this guest prices in this 10 locations, uh, which is on my screen on the left and a standard deviation as well. So my question is find the z-score associated with the gas price $2.49. That means the first one. And explain what this value means in the context of the data. So first of all, a z-score. A z-score, another name is standard, uh, standard score or standardized score. So there are three names for it is the number of standard deviation that a given value x is above or below the mean. Now we can find z-score uh, for population and sample. So the population, the formula is z equals the data value x minus the average uh, of the data values, which is mean in our case, over the sample standard deviation population z-score is z equals the data value for which you're looking the z-score for minus the population mean over the population standard deviation. In our case, the data value for which we're looking the z-score for is 2.49. So I plug it in 2.49, I subtract it 2.66 and I divide it by 0.09. If you notice one thing that both the numerator and uh, denominator has a dollar signs, but they cancels each other out. So in short, the z-score doesn't have any unit. It's just a number. And you must round up z-score to decimal places. Eventually, you will see that we have to use the z-score to find the area under the curve. And in order to do that, we have to use the table. So now what is this negative 1.89? Let's interpret that. So I created this little stripe where I place the zero z-score in the middle, negative two on the left, negative two on the right. So if your z-score is located between negative two and two, then the value you use, the data value you use to find the particular z-score is not significant. If your z-score is two or higher, then the data value you use to find that z-score is significantly high value. If your z-score is negative two or smaller than negative two, then the data value you use to find the z-score is significantly low value. So in our case, my z-score is negative 1.89. So approximately the location will be here. Which will, fall on, which will fall under this green criteria where values are not significant. So be mindful, the values or the value which is not significant in our case is our gas price, $2.49. And if you go back to my previous video, you saw that, that eight out of 10 values, they were falling within one standard deviation of the mean, but and this one was kind of close, but this one was the one was almost like two, stand, uh, two standard deviation below the mean. So we kind of see it here using the z-score that this value, uh, $2.49 gas price, is not a significant value. Hope this will help.